Hey YouTube, this is Primetime Pokemon. In this video, I'll be opening up a brand new Rage of the Broken Heavens Pokemon Booster Box. Now this booster box was just released on December 11th. This is the Japanese equivalent of the up and coming new release out in February of the Breakpoint English set. So I'm very excited to open up this box which I purchased off of eBay for $38.99 and basically to preview the cards that will be coming out in the English Breakpoint set on February 3rd. And this set is the second XY Break series set. But I can show you a view of the artwork here. And of course the featured Pokemon in this set would be the Shiny Gyarados as well as a Mega Gyarados. So I'll open it up here. Pretty large set for a Japanese set. 80 cards in the base set, 89 total cards. Here's a look at the box without the plastic wrap on it. And inside the box there are 20 packs, 5 cards per pack. So I'll open it up here. The boxes are pretty neat looking on the inside. I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all the packs out and then I can show the rest of the box. So here's all 20 packs. Set that aside. Here's what the inside of the box looks like. So there you have it. I've opened all of the newest Japanese sets on YouTube before. This is XY9. It is a first edition booster box. So I'll open it up here. May have to get my scissors. I just have the baby ones today. But we'll take a look at the first pack here. And there is a promotional card on the back, and I believe the card trick is just one, like so. Okay, so first card here, there is a Durant, followed by, looks like a Palpitote. And next up, there's a Stantler, followed by Clefable. And finally, there is, looks like a, I should know that is a Pangoro. And the reason I'm a little bit slower on looking at the names is new artwork. So I first have to determine that and I'm looking through a tiny camera screen at the cards. So one pack down, 19 more to go. There we go. I was gonna say, I thought I could open them without cutting them before. So I'll set that card aside. Make sure the card trick's right. We'll find out shortly if it's not. Okay, so this pack starts off with a Blitzel followed by there is a Cricketot followed by a Pancham then there is a camera up and finally there is a full art trainer card and this one is called a reverse valley so not the greatest of two packs here but I'm sure my polls will improve This is a tough one to get open. Maybe that means there's something good on the inside. Okay, so this pack here, it starts off with a Nuzleaf, followed by a Numo. Then there is, I was going to say, a crazy looking and possibly knocked out Clefairy. Then we move on to a Scorapy. And then we go, actually, that is a Drapion, my mistake. And then the final card here is a Trainer, and that one is called Burst Balloon. So pretty poor pull so far. A lot of Ultra Rares I really like in this set. There is Espeon EX, Gyarados EX, Manaphy EX, Darkrai EX, so quite a few good cards. I'm very excited to open up this set as a break point when it is released. Okay, let's get something good here. At least a hollow card. Starts off with a Rattata, followed by, looks like a Shelter. Then there's a Glammeow. Trainer card, and this one is called Time Puzzle. And then the final card, there we go. First hollow of the box. It is... A Aegislash. 
It's the first hollow card. At least I'm not shut out on the box overall. Hopefully my pulls will improve quite a bit here. On to the next pack. And I can summarize my pulls at the end of this video. There you go. Set that aside. Okay, this pack starts off with Looks like there is a Drowsy, followed by, I believe that's Pharaoh Thorn, Pharaoh Seed. There is a Petalil. Next up here is Sigalith. And oh, there we go right there. Was not expecting that. A Trevenant Break card. Pretty cool, and there are break cards in this set. Well, of course, the name is Breakpoint on the English set, so this is going to have some break cards in it. So Trevenant Break, second good pull of this box. You, I'm looking forward to pulling a Greninja Break, would probably be the one I'm looking for most from this set. There's Greninja, Raticate, and Trevenant. So less break cards in this set than the Breakthrough set, which I believe had six different break cards in it. Now the poles are starting to pick up a little bit. Okay, this pack starts off with a Skrelp, followed by there is a Swana, Bayleaf, then there is, this is an energy card, it is a Splash Energy, and the last card in the pack, I'm guessing this is a Spirit Link card, and indeed it is a Scizor Spirit Link. That's another card I'm looking forward to pulling out of this set. The set reminds me a lot of my early collecting days as well as playing the video games because Gyarados was my first Pokemon card in my collection ever. Had Gyarados from base set. And then I first started playing the Pokemon games with Pokemon Crystal. Scizor was one of the Pokemon that I got up to level 100 right away. Okay, so this pack starts off with a Honage. Followed by, there's a Timpole. Looks like here there's a Cricketune, Cloister, and the final card in the pack. Oh, there we go. Second hollow of the box is a Meganium. So, again, it is a stage two starter from that second generation of Pokemon. Okay, next pack. Oh, this one's a tough one to get open to. My baby scissors handy. I couldn't find the big scissors. So I had to take the baby one there. Set that card aside. How about an ultra rare in this pack or an RR rarity card? First card in the pack, there is a Phantom. Followed by Slowpoke. There's a Trubbish. Next up here. A trainer card which is called Fighting Fury Belt and the final card in the pack is a Pharaoh Thorn. Okay, moving on to the next pack. Okay. So, set this aside and move the rare to the back, potentially. And this pack starts off with a Gibble. There's a Heatmore. Took me a little bit to see what Pokemon that was in the artwork. Radicate. There's a Hypno. And, oh, there we go, right there. An ultra rare. It is... Oh, there we go, right there. A Mega Gyarados... EX. Really nice blast geyser across the picture there. First EX pull from this box. Very, very nice. Okay, so I'll set that one aside. And guess what? These just magically appeared for me so I can cut open the packs and speed the opening up just a little bit. But the first thing I want to do is make sure all the cards are down. I have actually cut through a card or two cutting the packs open like that. So bear with me here while I get the rest of the packs opened up. So far, pretty good box. Four total Ultra Rares and Hollow cards. 
Okay, so let's start off here with this pack. Okay, pack starts off with a Numel, followed by there is a Glamiel, Slowbro, there is, looks like a Pangoro, and the final card, oh, a gold card, it is, oh, there we go right there. This is a UR Rarity, basically the rarest card from this set. It is the Gyarados EX. So cannot believe my pull right here. Card number 89 of 80. What a great pull. And it also features Greninja and Manaphy on there. So that is a great pull right there. Take a look at the artwork or the card number down there. That is definitely the best card to pull out of this set. I still have almost half the box to open up. Maybe those handy dandy blue scissors brought me some luck bringing those over and cutting open the packs of that, but cannot believe I pulled that card. Very happy with the box overall. Okay, so onto this pack, which starts off with a Blitzel. Next up here is a Nuzleaf, followed by a Drowsy. There's a Gyarados Spirit Link, and then the final card in the pack is a Hollow card of a Slowking. So I've pulled several Slowbro, Slowpoke, and Slowking out now. Okay, on to the next pack. Okay, talking about Slowking in that line, here is a Slowpoke again. Next up is Eradicate. C dot. There is a camera up, and finally, that full art trainer card, which is called Reverse Valley. Second time I've pulled the Reverse Valley out. On to the next pack now. Okay, so pack starts off with a Swana, followed by a Perugly. Then there is a Skrelp, followed by, this one is a Lilligant, and finally another hollow pull, fourth of the box. It is a Dragulge. So at least no repeat so far out of the hollow pulls. I'll set that one aside. Again, I can summarize my pulls at the end of this box. Quite happy with my ultra rare pulls so far. I'd even be happier if I pulled out the Greninja break instead of that Trevenant, but still very happy with my pulls overall. Okay, so this pack starts off with a Heatmore, followed by, there is a, I, I was going to say Garchomp, but it's a Gab. I'd had a look at the one up at the top left hand corner of the card. Next up here is a Phantom trainer card here which is called burst balloon and the final card in the pack Ooh, there we go another ultra rare it is a gyarados ex so very heavy on gyarados in this box makes it even better and of course this is a shiny gyarados ex because gyarados is red in color Wow, very happy with a box like this when Gyarados is one of my favorite Pokemon. Not my top 10, but definitely in the top 20, I would say. So happy to have this box be mostly Gyarados Ultra Rare cards. Okay, so first card in this pack is a Timpole. Next up here, there is a Stantler, followed by there's a Petalil, Clefable, and the final card in the pack is a potion, a trainer card called Time Puzzle. Okay, moving on to the next pack. We have four more packs left after this one. So I'd like to pull out one more ultra rare or break card. I'm using, using English rarity terms. Okay, so here we have a Froggy Air. Then there's another Stantler, followed by a Scorpy. There is a trainer, and this one is Psychic's Mind Reading. And the final card in the pack, hollow card, is this one is a Garbodor.
So heavy on the psychic type hollows. Two out of the five have been psychic type. Another card I like to pull quite a bit out of this set would be the Espeon EX. Have not pulled any full art cards outside of that secret rare. So I'd like to pull one of those out of the remaining packs here. Here's another Gabite card. Then we have a Shelder. Clefairy. There is. This one's a Seismitoad. And the final card in the pack is a Zepstrika. I can show you what these cards look like since they're first edition. It does say first edition on the bottom left hand corner of the card. So this pack here starts off with a Chikorita. Looking into the puddle of water there and seeing a Fennekin. Pretty interesting artwork. And then here there is a Pancham. Followed by next up is Palpitoad. There is a trainer card. And this one is a Max Elixir. And the final card in the pack, a Hollow card of Garchomp. So a couple of Hollow cards in the last few packs. Set that one aside. Down to the last two packs, hoping to get something great out of one of these. So we'll set the card aside there and start the pack off with a Rattata. Then we have, there's Krikatok. Followed by the Blade. There's a Shiftry. And the final card in the second to last pack. A Trainer card. And this one is a Delinquent. Okay, last pack here. Last for something great here. Potentially an Ultra Rare. That's really what I'm hoping for. Okay, last pack. Starts off with... There's a Ducklet. Followed by Durant. There's a Froakie. Followed by, here is a Trevenant. Same card that I pulled in break earlier in the box. And the final card out of this Rage of the Broken Heavens Japanese booster box is ah, a little bit disappointing. Thought it would be an ultra rare. It is a Sudowoodo. But overall, very happy with the cards that I pulled. I can summarize my pulls now. Total, I pulled out 10 combined hollows, break, and ultra rares. I can show the six hollows I pulled right here first. Starting with the most recent, there's a Garchomp, then a Garbodor, and then here's a Dragulge. Slowking. There's a Meganium. And the first hollow that I pulled out here was an Aegislash. So there's all six hollow cards. And then the ultra rares I pulled out. English rarity, of course. I'll save the best for last, I would say, and sort of organize them appropriately. I would have really liked to pull Greninja Break instead of the Trevenant Break, but I'll have plenty more of opportunities to pull out that Greninja Break in the English Breakpoint set. But one Break card, Trevenant. And then I have one EX card, which was the Shiny Gyarados EX. And again, I had never really showed what was first edition. Here it is right on the bottom left hand corner of the card. So there's the Shiny Gyarados EX. And then I pulled out the Mega Gyarados EX, the one with Blast Geyser on it. And then easily the best pull of this box, I pulled out the UR Rarity, which I'm assuming will be a secret rare, in the English set, which is the Shiny Gyarados EX Full Art that has two other Pokemon on it, Greninja and Manaphy. So there you have it. Pretty happy with my pulls overall. Would have liked to see more Ultra Rares, but this is definitely the card I was hoping for most. Hopefully, like Primal Clash last year that came out in February, Breakpoint will be released pretty early in January. I'm hoping I'll definitely make a, a trip around the state here to find all these stores that are selling Breakpoint early if that happens. So, thanks everyone for watching. As always, before you go, check out all of the links in the description of this video, including links to my blog, Facebook, and Twitter pages. Have a happy holidays, and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.